The protocol, Ethereum learns of potential defector as Supreme Court mooted. What is a blockchain sequencer? Here's why you need to know, along with all the latest updates on crypto tech news and fundraising announcements. The blockchain industry remains mired in crypto winter, with the price of bellwether Bitcoin BTC down 11% in the past month. But there's no slowing down in the race, among technologists to position for the future. In the past week maker DAO's Rune Christensen, a pioneer of decentralized finance, signaled his openness to abandon the Ethereum blockchain ecosystem for rival technology from Solana or Cosmos as the project searches for its own dedicated blockchain. Separately, a debate broke out over whether Ethereum should have its own Supreme Court to arbitrate disputes. This week's feature focuses on blockchain sequencers, a crucial element of the fast-growing infrastructure for Layer 2 networks atop Ethereum. Sequencers have been in the headlines recently, partly because they are sometimes cast as single points of failure that could undermine the design principle of decentralization. Our Sam Kessler explains, you're reading the protocol, Coindesk's weekly newsletter that explores the tech behind crypto, one block at a time. Subscribe here to get it every week. Network News Solana Seduction Maker DAO, one of the oldest and biggest decentralized finance DeFi protocols on the Ethereum blockchain, is considering moving to its own dedicated blockchain. And rather than simply start a new Layer 2 network within the dominant Ethereum ecosystem, as crypto-friendly firms like Coinbase and Consensys have chosen to do, Maker DAO might be looking to decamp altogether. Rune Christensen, Maker DAO's founder, suggested last week that the project's best bet might be to clone or fork the Solana blockchain, since it has the most promising code base. In a governance forum post, he said Solana had demonstrated technical quality as well as resilience by having gone through the FTX blowup. Solana was famously promoted by the collapsed FTX crypto exchange's now jail founder, Sam Bankman Fried. Christensen went so far as to suggest the Cosmos blockchain's technology as the other main contender. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin was apparently none too pleased, reportedly raising the question, in a post on a rival stablecoin, Project's Discord channel, of whether Maker DAO is torpedoing itself in weird directions and then selling some 500 of the project's MKR tokens worth $579,000 that he had held since 2020. Separately, in what might be a salt in the wound moment, the credit card network Visa announced Tuesday that it had expanded its stablecoin settlement capabilities to Solana, in addition to Ethereum. On Wednesday, Solana Labs co-founder Raj Gokul told Coindesk TV that the network was battle-tested and ready for prime time. Code versus humans, there's an oft-repeated mantra in blockchain ideology that code is law. The idea that a network's underlying programming should be sacrosanct, providing the ultimate authority to settle disputes even when serious emergencies or existential threats arise. Now, a top executive in the Ethereum blockchain ecosystem is explicitly embracing the idea that, in certain extreme scenarios, humans rather than hard coding might be the superior arbiters of justice. Alex Glachowski, CEO of Matter Labs, the developer of a top layer 2 network on Ethereum, has floated the idea of an Ethereum Supreme Court to arbitrate disputes that escalate to the point of threatening the main blockchain's integrity. The system, which Glachowski described on X formerly Twitter as a hierarchical system of on-chain courts similar to the real-world judiciary, would allow apps built atop Ethereum to appeal for a chain fork in the event that they are hacked or face some other sort of security crisis. Code is law, bug equals death, Glachowski wrote in a follow-up comment to his September 2 post, Base's new fanbase. Just as the friend, TechFad faded, sapping some of the post-launch adoration of Coinbase's new base layer 2 blockchain as chronicled in last week's The Protocol, there's a new kid in town, Aerodrome Finance. The platform, which markets itself as the base ecosystem's premier liquidity engine and hub, has quickly attracted more than $170 million of TVL or total value locked, helping to push the overall TVL of protocols on base to more than $400 million. The secret, according to the newsletter Wu Blockchain, the project's native token, Dollar Arrow, offers liquidity mining rewards with an annualized yield close to 1,000% without compounding. That's a lot, even in crypto. Aerodrome's TVL has now exceeded, flippant in crypto jargon, the $158 million on Valodrome, Aerodrome's predecessor project, which sits on the older Layer 2 chain optimism. Is it sustainable? Money doesn't materialize out of thin air, Wu Blockchain noted dryly, so it's worth considering when the spiral might come to an end. A base it on Tuesday, the network suffered a major outage that lasted a little over three hours, its biggest glitch since the launch last month. Also, first on Coindesk, Coinbase has quietly created a crypto lending service geared toward large investors, helping to fill the void left by last year's blowups of firms like Genesis and BlockFi. X, the Elon Musk owned social media platform formerly called Twitter, has obtained payments licenses from several U.S. states in recent months, including a currency transmitter license in Rhode Island last week. 
MetaMask, the popular crypto wallet, unveiled a new sell feature that allows you to cash out your crypto for fiat currency easily in a post on X. The feature is available in the US, UK and parts of Europe, initially supporting ETH on Ethereum mainnet with plans to expand to native gas tokens on Layer 2 networks soon, according to the company. Funds can be sent to a bank, account or PayPal balance. Protocol Village Highlighting blockchain tech upgrades and developments, SWIFT, the interbank messaging system, said it conducted successful experiments with several major banks including CD and BNP Paribas to transfer simulated tokenized assets between wallets on public and private blockchains. Chainlink was used as an enterprise abstraction layer to securely connect the SWIFT network to the Ethereum Sapolia network, while Chainlink's cross-chain interoperability protocol CSIP enable complete interoperability between the source and destination blockchains, according to a press release from SWIFT. Curve, decentralized stablecoin exchange, deploys on Coinbase's new Layer 2 blockchain base. Community members of DYDX, a decentralized derivatives trading platform, approved a governance proposal to make its DIGS token, currently on Ethereum's ERC-20 token standard, the native token for its new standalone DYDX application-specific blockchain chain built with Cosmos SDK. As part of the proposal, the community agreed to adopt an Ethereum smart contract commissioned by the DYDX Foundation that, once deployed, would enable a permissionless and autonomous one-way bridge for the DIX token to be migrated from Ethereum to the DYDX chain. Trust Machines, a startup developing applications for the Bitcoin blockchain and led by Stacks co-creator Money Bali, announced August 31 that it has acquired wallet assets from Hyro Systems where Ali serves as chairman and has now launched its own flagship Bitcoin wallet brand Leather. According to a blog, post the wallet can secure and manage Bitcoin BTC, Stacks Elpo SDX and BRC1E tokens and can be used to create, trade and transfer ordinals, Stacks NFTs and Bitcoin stamps. The former Hyra wallet had 375,000 total installations and more than 100,000 monthly active users, according to the company. Money Center, fundraising's exclusive socket, a protocol aimed at enhancing communication between blockchains, has raised $5 million from the crypto-friendly venture capital funds Coinbase Ventures and Framework Ventures. Story Protocol, set up to track intellectual property, conducted a follow-on fundraising in the third quarter, which, in conjunction to an earlier seed round, brings the total raised by the project to $54 million, according to the team. Investors include Andreessen Horowitz, a 16th hashed and TPG Capital's David Bonderman, Stroom Network, a Kiev, Ukraine-based liquid staking protocol on Bitcoin's Lightning Network that allows users to yield farm on Ethereum-compatible DeFi ecosystems, raised $3.5 million in seed round. Greenfield Lemis Gap, No Limit Holdings, Cogitant Ventures, Smade Capital Deals and Grants B Trust, a non-profit organization that aims to decentralize development of Bitcoin software, said it acquired Kala, an organization that trains African Bitcoin and Lightning engineers on September. 1. Kala will be rebranded as the B Trust Builders Program. B Trust was originally funded by Block and Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey along with the record producer Jay-Z. Endowment.org, which says it's the first on-chain 501c3 nonprofit community foundation, and donor-advised fund platform, has expanded its platform to base. According to the team, originally available exclusively on Ethereum, Endowment's deployment on base makes crypto giving more accessible while reducing transaction costs, making small gifts more affordable for donors. The deployment brings more than 7,000 new verified donation endpoints for nonprofits across 150 plus countries. This integration opens new donation revenue streams for nonprofits and ensures more funds go directly to a cause rather than fees. Blockchain network developer Kronos Labs has started looking for eight startups to take part in the third cohort of its $100 million accelerator program aimed at supporting early stage crypto projects. The recruitment phase of the 12 week program commenced September. 4.2. Coincide with the start of Korea Blockchain Week, which runs until September 10, and has a particular focus on artificial intelligence. Data and tokens defy protocol Synapse's SYN token jumped 17%, rebounding after a slump earlier in the week when a wallet the protocol said was tied to venture capital firm Nima Capital sold 9 million of the tokens. Connects airdrop of dollar next tokens marred by $38,000 Sybil. Bot attack, stake, crypto casino, targeted and reported $40 million exploit following a private key leak. Regulatory, policy and legal wants one of the world's most powerful crypto executives, Sam Bankman-Fried, jail founder of the collapsed FTX exchange, has been reduced to bickering with prosecutors over his access to a laptop computer. EOS Networks took an EOS approved for trading on Japanese exchanges after being granted whitelist approval by the Japan Virtual and Crypto Asset Exchange Association JVC, a self-regulated body of crypto exchanges, a U.S.
District judge in New York dismissed a proposed class action lawsuit against the decentralized exchange Uniswap, brought in April 2022 by investors who claimed they lost money after investing in what turned out to be scam tokens, issued and traded on the protocol. Judge Catherine Polk Vela of the Southern District of New York likened the suit to attempting to hold an application like Venmo or sell liable for a drug deal that used the platform to facilitate a fund transfer. Creditors of bankrupt crypto lender Genesis Global Capital, including some users of the Winklevoss Twins Gemini Exchange, have hit out at a proposed $175 million deal with the defunct exchange FTX, accusing GGC of vote buying to manipulate the bankruptcy process. Lido dominates Ethereum liquid staking market and isn't sharing. At least four Ethereum liquid staking providers have agreed to a self-imposed limit where they would never own more than 22% of the Ethereum staking market, Cointelegraph reported, citing the X account, Superfiz F. Notably absent from the list is the biggest among them, Lido Finance, which has staked 32% of the total ETH stake. Calendar, September 6-9, TB Conf Technical Bitcoin Conference, Atlanta, September 1113, Permissionless Roman II Conference, Austin, Texas, September. 1314, Token 2049, Singapore, September. 2022, Masari Mainit 2023, October 24, Cosmoverse 23, Istanbul, October 1213, Bitcoin Amsterdam, Conference. November 24, Cardano Summit, Dubai. November 28, EOS Native Consensus Upgrade with Instant Finality. December 13, Africa Bitcoin Conference, Ghana. April 2024 Estimate, Next Bitcoin Halving, May 29-31, 2024, Consensus, Austin, Texas.